All right, welcome everyone, Resemblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Space, Space Brothers, Brothers, episode three. three. All right. Rita is getting really close to actually like achieving his dream. He, he's basically here. I mean, yep. most of this is now just some tests, and mm -hmm. given that he's shown a particular aptitude for noticing details that are off, yep. something that they specifically tried to see who could notice it. Mm -hmm. and, and we've got two other sort of like you know, potentially main character slash people that will succeed through this, you know, alongside Muta. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Fun, fun. Yeah. Having some immediate side characters get kind of rushed into things I feel like mm -hmm. is really necessary right now. Because right. otherwise we're just kind of following Muta and his thoughts, which is good, mm -hmm. but it's not enough to carry, like, this portion of the story. I right. Say. The brother dynamic is fantastic, but the setup for it is specifically that they are not in the same place. So, right. so you know, they can't really be both and... leading the story entirely because, well, then they're just by themselves. Right, right. Yeah. So let's get some people for him to interact with. So, mm -hmm. y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Everything. Also, bend over, please. <laughs> the rocks! <roster! laughs> Beautiful. Yep. マジかよっちゃくさめ。昔くせつした古傷のわずかな痕跡から天パに潜む小さな枝木に至るまでとにかく全身くまなく検査されたいや。やらめしゅいけんハンドルエブリティング。いや。穴に札を通され。いや。自
get him to prepare for something that doesn't exist. Right. あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
Oh my god. Massively inconveniencing yourself just yep. to avoid a, an yep. awkward social situation. He was what? God damn it. <laughs> I want to know your thoughts. Oh, is that her room? Maybe? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Okay. Tomato juice. Oh my oh. gosh. Okay. Oh, 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 just because the physical tests are done? Yeah. No way! Okay. He was doing the same thing that Mu was doing. Oh. Yeah. It's like. I can see. Oh! Cool. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, and his hair looks like broccoli. broccoli. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Fantastic. Amazing. So her perspective was. Holy shit, wait. Yeah. And that might have been one of the things that made her think, oh, you actually like, wait, could you become an astronaut? Cool. <sighs> nice. Oh. Yes. With the light on? Yeah. Bro, go to sleep. I mean, sometimes when you're just that tired. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? Immediately forgets whatever he was saying. Oh. So cool. Oh, crap. Oh, it's not a rocket. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh, perfect. Oh, these are precious memories now. Mm -hmm. Two more days. Okay. Hang in there. Until you initiate shaking mine, damn it. Yep. See you, Space Cowboy. Well, she now you're was weird. Each other. Yeah. Nice. どうしたの? <laughs> 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 And you've gotten this far. There's not a lot of people left. But that means it's going to be more um, strict as far yes. as selection. And the mental stuff is what's coming up because <laughs> that's literally his one weakness. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, nice wow. and simple, sweet episode. Yeah, uh, getting us to know, letting us get to know Sedeka. Mm -hmm. uh, now we have her name, right? And also the general aptitudes that these people will have going forward. Uh, mm -hmm. Primarily that Sedeka is built different. Yes. Holy shit. Both on the cardio and on the lung capacity. And those things do seem like they would coincide together with each other. Sure. If you can breathe good, running good is, you know, yeah, it's generally going to be easier. You, yeah, you're going to find that to be something you'll generally be good at. But you still mm -hmm. do have to actually, like, work out your legs and everything. So she's got, right. like, the lung capacity and mm -hmm. and the stamina and the, the running yep. strength. So, uh, best uh, best girl, like, yeah, holy, yeah. holy shit. Like, I, I, uh, no competition ever. Is this going to be one of those, like, solo, I so solo badly... female sh stories where... Oh, no, like, absolutely. Just, where then she's the paragon she's and like, is, like, uh, fantastic at everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like... <laughs> And, you know, the jokes about, like, ah, lung capacity and all oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Um, and stamina, too. But uh, mm -hmm. that'll that'll be interesting to have, like, an actual, like, sort of romance subplot going along with the testing and everything. Even if it's just a crush on his end, you know? Yeah, well, although maybe, I think... maybe maybe a little bit from her end as well. Right, it like... Maybe, like, something where they, they will they, won't they, as they don't yeah. really, like, and have the capacity to tell each other, you know? But. Exactly, because they're very busy with other things, and yep. they don't want to jeopardize that situation. Sure. So it makes sense that that would be a reason why you'd have adults that then would have the prolonged will they won't they romantic right. tension without They're it being based on immaturity. Like that's, yeah, exactly. That's, that's way like, more important. Than right, right, lives. exactly. Yeah. It's like the, hey, you know, if something happens, cool, but also at the same time, don't touch that with a 39 and a half foot pull if you think it'll jeopardize the astronaut thing. Oh, you yeah, know, so, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, Makabe Kenji uh, mm -hmm. is getting closer with him. They're going yep. to share a lot of uh, just simple moments here. Mm -hmm. um, but primarily the moment that encapsulated this episode, I would say just heart, was the staring at the astronaut suit right. and the way in which their early impressions of childhood and seeing these astronaut suits, but also just seeing JAXA and what it meant for them mm -hmm. inspired them to be who they are right now. Right. And not just the place itself and the, mm -hmm. you know, accompaniments of it, the location, but actually who they were with. Right. And the idea that uh, Serica was with her parents um, and they were very much encouraging this. But not only that, uh, her father might have actually tried to be an astronaut. Mm -hmm. And we don't know whether he became an astronaut. And what I like about right. this is that's a fun thing that we can follow up with is the, oh, maybe he tried and he didn't get in. Sure. You know? Yeah. And so she's like extra like, you know, fervently like going for this of being like, no, I, I have to, I have to do this, you know? Right. And I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to assume that he didn't get in given mm -hmm. that um, with Muta, he's kind of famous at the place for being like, oh, you you have a family member that, that is an astronaut, right? That's super rare. That's a, that's a big deal. Right. And Which they would have done they for, probably Sedica, would have done for if, Sedica if her if dad did get in. And but I it wanna... might also be that her dad was... Uh, an astronaut, sure. and it was so long ago. But that... but there's a there's a thing I'm I'm yeah. going out with the that he wasn't right? right. Yeah, I think you're right though. That um, the difference in the way that people look at dreaming depending oh. on how old you are. Sure. The mother was like, "Honey, don't do that. You're embarrassing me." Right. Right. Nobody bats an eye when you're two kids doing stuff like yes. that. Right. Because yes. that's what people expect. Right. And the thing is, is that Mutsa's situation is basically one of, oh. My kid dreams didn't go anywhere, and my brothers did. Yep. Right? We shared uh -huh. the same dream, and it worked for him, and it didn't work for me. And so, kind of, my life is over. Like I have to, I resign myself to, you know, jobs I hate, and you know, yep. all all this other yep. stuff, right? And this is him basically deciding, you know, with prompting from his brother, no. I'm going to see if I can do that. Yeah, yeah. That's right. And I'm going to go to Mars. Then. Yeah. And he's yeah. seeing all of these ways in which, oh, yeah, the younger people, they're, they're you know, better than him at all the physical stuff. And so he's like, oh, you know, maybe I shouldn't be here. Maybe I'm not cut out for this. Right. And the idea that, no, hey, you're never too old to dream. You're never too old to go up to the astronaut, like, you know, gear and, like, try and see your reflection in it and everything. Mm -hmm. Even though, yes, you look totally silly doing it. But who cares? Who cares? You know, right? This isn't for them. This is for you. Exactly. And, and that's where that, it becomes a connection point between the two of them. Yeah, and the idea that they then share that mm -hmm. same element of wonder. And I right. feel like that's something that the story is really wanting us to capture mm -hmm. in ourselves as the viewers. Is exactly. That, do you remember what it was like to wonder as a child? Mm -hmm. The idea that you saw 
a mill for a cow, you know, right, farm right. or what yeah, have you. Some and you're like, oh, or it's something. a rocket. Yeah. And you go, oh, and you see the rounded dome at the top. You're like, you press your face against the window. And then you're like, oh. Oh, no, it's just a... And you're like, ha, ha, got you. <laughs> right, exactly. Like, right. There's so many things out there in the world that we haven't seen. Mm-hmm. And yet, when you see them, do you take them as they are with the, oh, okay, yeah, cool, that's yeah. just another building? Or do you go, well, what could that be? What could that mean? And What's the story behind that? Do you, do you feel that sense of wonder? Right. And while Mutsa, you have a unique like. connection point with this girl because of the ways in which that... Uh, you they guys it. just express your your dream. Yeah. Um, make no mistake. Yes. All of the people here. Yes. Are a bunch of dreaming nerds right yep. there with you. Yep. Right. Absolutely. They, they just maybe look a bit different and are better at different things than you. Yep. You know. But like, th- yeah, I'm gonna go to space. People don't necessarily do that because it's like the ah, this is the most practical, right. you know, conventional <laughs> like decision for my future. No, no. they do it because they want to go to space, right? Yeah, like, yeah. so you know, you're you're not you're not so different after all. You yeah. actually fit right in. Right. That doesn't mean you'll be able to make it, and so you'll have to work your ass off. But yeah. you're in the right place. And he is in the right place. And I like that there was something that he was good at and mm-hmm. it was something that he could have won in if he wasn't so, you know, yeah, whoa, yeah. like heart eyes with regards uh-huh. to Zedeka. But, um, yeah, he played wind instruments. Yep. So he played the trumpet. You so, never know what your, like... Yeah. What your uh, exper- what of your experiences that doesn't don't seem relevant will actually end up helping you out with something else. Right. I, I was really kind of disappointed in myself that I didn't immediately catch on as to why he was going to be like, oh, uh-huh. excited about that. I'm like, oh, right. Thank you for the yeah. flashback. That's mm-hmm. right. Yes. Yep. He not only decided to do wind instruments, he picked the hardest one. Right. The trumpet. Or at least one of the hardest ones. Mm-hmm. Um, that's awesome. So, okay. Now we have a set of mental tests and maybe some mm-hmm. more more like other tests. I'm not sure if the other two people coming in to maybe rattle him a little bit, you know, maybe be mm-hmm. like, oh, let's poke at the guy with an edge, you know, and see if yeah, there's yeah. something else there. Um, uh, or if there is actually a secret test or something like that. So I think I think they're they're kind of right. Yeah. So the first test was the written test, right? Yeah. Do you well have with- the actual... Knowledge. brains and knowledge and know-how in order to theoretically be able to be an astronaut. Cool. Yeah, everybody here now does have that. Every now, everybody here has that. And they do now, the physical tests. Now, now we're doing the physical tests and the mental tests kind of also probably being part of that, right? Of the, of the with who you are, are you someone who can survive out there and probably get along well with people well, out right. there? Right, but if we put you under enough stress, right. would you still be able to handle the training? Exactly, and right? The, yeah, and so, and so that test will be that. And then once they do that, because I, I think our, our idea of like once they get it down to the eight or whatever for the final yeah. test, that's effectively the all of you could work. And now we're just picking our team of three. Yeah. You know, and Who so it's the best together. Probably. Yeah, exactly. And that's where that's where both in like a the the meta angle of, oh, hey, these three are going to have uh-huh. this connection is also going to go into the literal universe angle of, oh, all three of you made it to the end. Uh huh. That fantastic. All right. Yeah, you guys will get cool. along great. Let's right? pick all three of you. Like yeah. if like imagine if there's the the two people that came up to sort of like rib him, right? Right. And they you know, the much in the same way that you can't hide a a, a blossoming boner from the dude that's giving you yeah. an examination, <laughs> right? <laughs> That kind of beef tension, etc., will not be able to be concealed from the the people giving the uh-huh. like examination, right? Yeah, hopefully. And so then it might be something where it's the, oh yeah, they don't make the cut specifically because of the stuff the stuff that they said. But that could right? also mean you, Muta, don't make the cut because you might have something with them too. Well, because so we'll you, you had butted a superior, <laughs> so you know the whole temper thing is kind of that is something you need to work on, and that's fun yeah. because then it's not just a. What are their capabilities as potential astronauts? But it's the, hey, let's focus on the character growth, which is where Muta cool. needs to... You will now start training to be astronauts. See you in, you know, three years. Yeah, you know? yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. But, all right, y'all. I mean, this is a great, great start for the mm-hmm. kind of the 
middle, I would say, point of the examinations, and next episode right. or two will probably be the end of the examinations. But y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon and get on early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. So yeah, if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.